Here we are in Jas, a small village in the Chess region of Senegal. In this community, 5,000 people have access to safe drinking water. The Water Users Association, ASUFOR, expresses the government's political will to transfer water management to rural populations within the framework of the Millennium Development Goals. Today, each and every household in Yas has safe water. In the past, it was a major issue. We used to get up before dawn to pound millet in order to get to the well early enough to fetch water. Back home, we would handle household chores. We would then go back to the well in the afternoon for more water. There was just one single good well in the village of Jas. In the wee hours of the morning, we would walk to the well in the neighboring village four kilometers away. We would draw turbid water again and again. Once at home, we would need to filter it several times to be able to use it. Even with the advent of public water fountains, waiting time could extend for hours should there be a break in the supply. Today, we have access to good quality water thanks to good management by the staff. It's good quality water. It's microbe free. The water is good for the people. It is good for the cattle too. Water is now available in the households at a very reasonable price. Therefore, most public fountains are closed. This feels like moving from hell to paradise. Access of rural populations to water has called for the government's heavy investment in the sector with support from development partners. As an illustration, the budget increased from 17 million 500 thousand US dollars in 2007 to 57 million 500 thousand US dollars in 2008. In the beginning, the government was responsible for operating and maintenance costs, but with the increase of boreholes and budget constraints, the government was compelled to gradually empower communities to manage and maintain boreholes. The government's viewpoint is to build capacities at the local level. The government is finally aware of the need for reforms in the system. As a result, we were able to expand water supply in the households. With the reform, management committees will be replaced by users associations. Unlike those management committees, users associations will have legal status for them to play their role as full actors of the process. Now. We need to ensure that people will pay according to the volume they use and not based on the flat rate applied before. In this regard, we are fully satisfied with the ASUF War of Jazz. They perfectly illustrate successful management of boreholes by local populations, particularly at the ownership level. This should be scaled up across the country. Building on the principles of the reform, and with training extended to our members, our association has fully respected the terms. The process has been facilitated by our many partners, including the Rural Council of Jazz. ASUFO works hand in hand with the community because they are aware of the paramount importance of water for rural populations. Following the establishment of ASUFOR, awareness building was pursued, including training in operations accounting, managing funds, which was a major issue, since that's where mismanagement of resources would mostly occur. We took over management in 2004. We entered an agreement with him to manage the water service. We are fully satisfied with his performance. My responsibilities include counter readings, collecting payments. I have a risk benefit contract with the association. Whatever the situation, I credit the association account with a fixed agreed upon amount of money every month. This allows them to set the user fee per cubic meter. Before the association was set up, only parts of Njas were supplied with water. Now, no neighborhood is left out. 
PEPAM assistance is to support the operations and maintenance direction through its sub-programs in its efforts to scale up ASUFOR. ASUFOR has been required to open a bank account in view of securing funds through good financial practices. Today, our ASUFOR has 40,000 US dollars in its accounts. Operating the borehole or any related breakdown is not a nightmare anymore. We can deliver. Our aim is for the government to exit from the maintenance operations for local populations and private operators to take up those functions. The ASUFOR experience is a success. Their total savings stand currently between 7,500 US dollars to 12,500 US dollars, which is significant. Every two weeks, I convene a meeting of members of the board and executive committee to present the balance sheet of the previous month, which in turn helps ASUFOR to establish their own balance sheet. Every two weeks, the ASUFOR meeting gathers members of the executive committee, that is, neighborhood representatives, youth associations, and women's groups to review the association's activities. With its revenues, ASUFOR has been able to supply water to neighboring villages within a range of four to five kilometers. The Rural Council contributed for more than 3,750 US dollars. This was a collective effort. We have achieved a lot, but there still is a lot to do. The Njas ASUFOR is an example among several others. It is definitely a successful example. They have indeed proven to be experts at implementing the reform and managing adequately water services in a rural setting. Awareness raising, thinking together, building together, working together for our mutual benefit. These are the key concepts in our motto.